Did you know that Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the world without a river? However, don't be fooled, their oil resources could easily fill a few oceans. Stick around to find out more fun facts about Saudi Arabia, you wouldn't want to miss it. So, they may not have rivers but they've got oil and lots of it. It's like their version of a never-ending milkshake only it's not as tasty. Indeed, Saudi Arabia is the land of black gold, a place where oil flows more freely than water. To give you an idea of just how oil-rich this nation is, consider this. Saudi Arabia boasts a quarter of the planet's proven oil reserves. That's right, a whopping 25% of the world's oil is tucked away under the vast Saudi sands. This oil isn't just a natural resource, it's the lifeblood of the Saudi economy, the very foundation of their prosperity. Picture this. Oil revenues make up about 90% of the country's export earnings and 70% of government revenues. It's as if the nation is sitting on a giant piggy bank filled with black gold. But what does all this oil mean for the people of Saudi Arabia? Well, it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, the oil wealth has allowed the country to develop at a rapid pace. Infrastructure has sprung up like desert flowers after a rare rainfall, and the standard of living has skyrocketed. The average Saudi citizen enjoys a level of comfort and security that would be the envy of many around the world. On the other hand, the dependence on oil has its drawbacks. It's a fickle resource, subject to the whims of the global market. When prices are high, times are good, but when they drop, the economy can take a hit. And let's not forget, oil isn't renewable. One day, the wells will run dry. But for now, Saudi Arabia continues to ride the oil wave, all the while looking to the future, investing in renewable energy sources and working to diversify their economy. So, next time you think about Saudi Arabia, imagine it as a giant oil milkshake. Just don't try to drink it. Forget about horses. In Saudi Arabia, camels are the real deal. And no, they don't use them for camel milk lattes. Now that we've got your attention, let's saddle up for a fascinating ride into the world of Saudi Arabian camels. In the heart of the Arabian desert, camels are more than just animals. They are an integral part of the culture, history, and daily life. These resilient creatures have been the lifeline for the Bedouin tribes for centuries. Serving as a reliable means of transport, they've carried people and goods across the arid desert landscapes long before the advent of modern vehicles. But hold on to your turbans because camels in Saudi Arabia aren't just for transportation. They are also the stars of the show in one of the most exciting sporting events in the country, camel racing. Yes, you heard it right camel racing. This isn't your average horse race, it's a high-speed dash across the desert, where camels, not horses, are the champions of the track. And let's not forget these races aren't just about speed, they're a celebration of tradition, a testament to the enduring bond between the people of Saudi Arabia and their beloved camels. Yet the limelight doesn't end at the racetracks. Camels in Saudi Arabia are also the center of attention in beauty contests. You might be thinking, camel beauty contests? You've got to be kidding. But it's as real as the sand dunes themselves. These competitions are a spectacle of grandeur, where camels are judged on their physical attributes, from the shape of their heads and necks to the size of their humps. So there you have it. In Saudi Arabia, camels aren't just beasts of burden. They're the heart of a culture, the stars of an age-old tradition, and a symbol of beauty. They're a testament to the country's rich history and its deep connection with the desert. Who needs a Ferrari when you can have a camel, right? Plus, they don't need petrol. Uh, you might think that living in a desert would be a bummer, but the Saudis have turned it into an art form. They've got sandboarding, desert camping, and no, they don't build sand castles. Now let's dive into the heart of Saudi Arabia, the desert, or as the locals call it, the empty quarter. It's not just a barren land of sand and heat. No, it's a playground for the adventurous, a canvas for the artistic, and a sanctuary for those seeking tranquility. Imagine yourself sandboarding down the towering dunes, the wind whipping past your face, the rush of adrenaline coursing through your veins. It's not just a sport, it's a way to embrace the environment, to become one with the sandy expanse. And then there's desert camping, a unique blend of tradition and modernity. Picture a luxurious tent nestled amidst the sandy dunes under a sky teeming with stars. It's not camping as you know it, it's glamping glamorous camping. The Saudis have mastered the art of transforming the harshness of the desert into a luxurious experience. One might wonder, how do they deal with the scorching heat? 
Well, they have their ways. Their traditional attire, the thobe for men and abaya for women, is designed to keep them cool. Made from light, breathable fabric, these clothes reflect heat and allow air to circulate, keeping the body cool even under the desert sun. And let's not forget the desert's role in Saudi culture and history. The Bedouins, the nomadic tribes of the desert, have a rich tradition of oral storytelling, music, and poetry. Their tales of courage, resilience, and survival echo the spirit of the desert. But it's not all sand and sun. The desert is home to a surprising array of flora and fauna. From the elusive Arabian leopard to the majestic Arabian oryx, the desert is teeming with life if you know where to look. So you see, the desert is not just a backdrop, it's the heart and soul of Saudi Arabia. It's a testament to human resilience, a symbol of their culture, and a playground for the adventurous. Next time you're stuck with a bunch of sand, remember? When life gives you a desert, make it an adventure. Saudi cuisine is like a roller coaster for your taste buds. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's everything in between, and no, they don't use oil in their cooking. Imagine a symphony of flavors harmoniously playing in every bite, textures that make your palate dance, and a culinary experience that paints a vivid picture of the country's rich heritage. Welcome to the world of Saudi Arabian cuisine, a world that's as diverse and fascinating as the country itself. Saudi Arabian cuisine is a celebration of the country's cultural diversity, from the coastal region's love for seafood to the central region's preference for meat and grains, each region brings its unique touch to the culinary table. And let's not forget the spices. Oh, the spices! They are the soul of Saudi cuisine, adding depth and character to every dish. Take kabsa, for example. This iconic Saudi dish is a tantalizing mix of rice, meat, and a medley of spices. It's a dish that's as comforting as it is flavorful. And then there's jerish a cracked wheat delicacy that's cooked to perfection with chicken or lamb, creating a creamy, hearty dish that's nothing short of a gastronomic delight. But it's not all about meat and spices. Saudi cuisine also knows how to satisfy the sweet tooth. Enter mutabak, a sweet or savory stuffed pancake that's as versatile as it is delicious. And kunafa, a cheese-filled pastry soaked in sweet syrup, is a dessert that's guaranteed to have you coming back for more. Whether you're sampling the succulent dates, sipping on the traditional Arabic coffee, or indulging in the rich creamy hummus, every bite is a journey through Saudi Arabia's culinary landscape. It's an adventure that's full of surprises, one that's bound to leave you craving for more. So, if you ever get a chance to try Saudi cuisine, make sure you have a fire extinguisher nearby. Just kidding, but seriously, it's delicious. Saudi Arabia isn't just about oil and camels, it's also about gold. And no, they don't use it as a currency. Let's talk about a kingdom that's not just rich in resources, but also glittering with the allure of gold. Yes, we're still in Saudi Arabia, where the wealth isn't just black and liquid, but shiny and malleable too. Gold isn't just a precious metal here, it's ingrained in the culture, it's a part of the tradition, and it's a symbol of status. Now, if you're picturing people walking around with gold bars in their pockets, let me clarify. It's not quite like that. The gold markets, or souks as they are locally known, are where the magic happens. Think of a whole street shimmering with the glow of gold. From intricate jewelry to gold coins, these markets are a sight to behold and a paradise for gold lovers. And it's not just about buying gold. The art of gold crafting is a significant part of Saudi Arabia's heritage. The intricate designs, the meticulous craftsmanship, the sheer variety, it's a testament to the country's rich cultural history. But here's the thing, gold in Saudi Arabia isn't just a commodity or a piece of jewelry, it's an investment, a hedge against economic uncertainty, it's a way for the locals to secure their wealth, and it makes sense, doesn't it? In a world full of fluctuating currencies and unpredictable stock markets, gold remains a constant, a beacon of stability. So, while the world might know Saudi Arabia for its oil, let's not forget about its gold. It's a testament to the country's wealth, its culture, its heritage. It's a symbol of the country's past, and a beacon for its future. And so, if you ever visit Saudi Arabia, don't forget to bring a metal detector. You never know what you might find. So what have we learned today? Saudi Arabia is more than just a heap of sand in the middle of nowhere. Let's rewind a bit and go over the key takeaways from our journey. We started with the oligarchy, remember? Saudi Arabia is home to the world's second largest oil reserves. It's not just about the oil though, it's about the influence that comes with it. This black gold has shaped the country's economy, its politics, and even its international relations. But as we all know, 
oil isn't the country's only claim to fame, and speaking of fame, let's not forget about the camels. These creatures are more than just a mode of transport in the desert, they're a symbol of survival, resilience, and cultural identity. Camels have been an integral part of Saudi Arabian life for centuries, from providing milk and meat to being a source of entertainment in camel racing. These humped companions are as much a part of the landscape as the sand dunes themselves. Ah, the sand. The sandland that is Saudi Arabia is not just an endless stretch of barren desert, it's a dynamic, ever-changing landscape that has its own unique beauty. From the crimson dunes of the Rub al-Khali to the rocky terrain of the Hejaz Mountains, the country is a testament to the diverse forms that sand can take. But Saudi Arabia isn't just about the oil, the camels, or the sand, it's also about the flavors, the aromas, the spices. Saudi cuisine is a melting pot of influences from across the Middle East. The food here is an explosion of taste that can take your palate on a journey through a world of spices. From the hearty meat dishes to the sweet dates and honey, Saudi Arabian cuisine is a feast for the senses. And last but not least, let's not forget about the gold. Saudi Arabia is a kingdom of gold, where the precious metal is not just a symbol of wealth but also of artistry. From intricate jewelry to grand architecture, gold is interwoven into the fabric of Saudi Arabian culture. And there you have it. Saudi Arabia, the land where you can ride a camel to a gold market, buy a gold necklace and celebrate with a spicy meal. Just remember to bring your own water.